God made himself manifest as a person. He didn't need to. Well, except that he needed company. He's human. I mean, he's a person. I mean, he's wonderful, fantastic. Person of persons, utterly fantastic. But he's a person. Be kind. Treat him as a person, not just some awesome one. He's awesome as well. Well, he's an awesome person. <laughs> but he needs love and care. Just like you and me. He lives for his kids. He's made himself manifest in this world. He's living here. He's manifesting his goodness and his glory just because of us. To love us. Because he needs to be loved, just like you and me, need to be needed. He has a need to be needed. We have a need to be needed, don't we? It's awful when we're not needed. I love it when my child needs me, needs something. Oh, she come to dad to get it. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> it's not going to be easy saying no. I hope I can meet her request. <laughs> and he, that he can and does. It's an eternal birthday present. The real miracle is eternal, eternally that he's made himself manifest to us in his creation, in his love and care, in every provision that you experience, in everything that you are, everything that is, is his way of saying, I give to you, I love you, I value you, I choose to need you. I choose to find my love in you. You are my joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. It's our call on him. We call and he answers. Why? Because we are his joy. We are his children. He loves you to bits. Don't forget. Don't forget. Just sit in the certainty of that. You don't need to harangue him with all sorts of demands. You can and he'll respond. But you don't need to. Our way of saying thank you is just to say, I trust you utterly for this, Lord. It may look terrible to the world, but to me, with my glasses on, rose-colored they may be, I just see your glory. I just choose to believe and trust in you that this is yet another of your incredible acts of loving kindness. The miracle of you, Father, love you. I've arrived at my destination which is the morning church service, and it's Tuesday. Thank you, Lord. Well, I went into the church, and uh, they, were, you know, they were friendly, well, they were always friendly to some extent, you know what I mean? And I looked down, and there was a cake with 75 written on it, and, you know, end candles, I don't know how many. There. What's more, it had been uh, organized by... Um, a chap I had coffee with the other morning and got to know him so much better. Wasn't that lovely? We're still who we are, both of us. But not quite. Because we're extending grace to each other. A bit more than that. We're realising that, well, perhaps we do love each other. After all. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Isn't that just lovely? So I had a wonderful service because, I mean, prayer meeting, whatever you like to call it, worship time. And uh, Jeff next to me chose just about all the songs that I would like. I just, I realized this halfway through. I thought, my goodness, there's another one I enjoy singing. I don't get me wrong, I enjoy singing anything that's loving to God. But but uh, yeah, some I can, some just fit your voice, don't they? And I just sing out because there's no telling me off or, or, or I've no fear of anyone telling me off. I don't think anyone has told me off for singing and worship. Although I'm acutely aware that I'm so noisy. But, um, well, I felt freer, it was my birthday. <laughs> I think Jeff is slightly concerned that, oh dear, 
we can't not celebrate everyone's birthday now, but hey, perhaps that's not such a bad constraint, is it? Make them feel special. What a lovely opportunity to make people feel loved. You know, some of the church moan about Christmas because, oh, it's become, you know, worldly and materialistic, but a lot of us don't, you know. A lot of us think, good, it's an excuse to be loving and kind, to give to people who might think you're odd giving at other times of year, but it, you can get away with it at Christmas. You can send them a card, encouragement. You can give them a present. You can say hello, happy Christmas. You can... It's take everything that God allows as a blessing. It's a blessing. See how it is a blessing. Well, there's a will, there's a way. If you want to find there's a blessing in it, you'll find it. You'll turn it into a blessing. And he'll be so, I was going to say, proud of you. He love you for it. Love you anyway, of course. You're too shy to do it. He'll still love you. It makes no difference. He's your dad and he loves you. He's utterly committed to loving you and finding joy in you and being good, good dad to you. Oh, we even sang that this morning, of course. You're a good, good father. I don't know if they realize, but... Oh. Well, if you're a parent, you want to be a good parent, don't you? And you always feel, gosh, you could be better. And you could. And it costs you other things, but you could. Yeah. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for a simply lovely birthday. Absolutely lovely. Thank you, Dad. <laughs>